I have missed y'all so much. Thank you if you made it this far into the video for not skipping and actually watching the entire thing. That really helps out my channel. When you get a look at these amazing, creamy, spicy, salty, slightly sweet, savory, delicious collard greens of goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let's taste this. How about that? Got our ingredients here, our chopped collards. I'll wash those in a moment. Some chicken stock. We've got some apple cider vinegar, which is key for this dish. Some hickory smoked bacon. We've got some smoked turkey wings. These are key, 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 key. My little twist, garlic. Garlic is like ridiculous in this dish. I'm gonna start off by searing off some uh, bacon. I'm gonna render all that fatty goodness. And by a few strips, I mean half a pack, because I mean, you know, why stop at just a few? <laughs> You see that beautiful fawn building up on the bottom there? That is all that flavor. You want your bacon to be crispy, but not burnt. And when you've got it off, you're gonna set it, to, set it to the side. And now we're going to heat through the turkey wings in the bacon rendering. Just trust the process, go with it. Every uh, four or five minutes or so, give them a nice flip. Ooh. If you could smell what I'm smelling right now, it is <laughs> stupid. My girl Jessica is gonna love this recipe because she's been telling me for weeks now how much she loves collard greens. You're gonna add one to two cups of chicken broth and really start to steam these turkey wings. Now mind you, they were already cooked when we put them in there. We're just heating them through because we're going to, well, you'll see in a minute. Now it's time to add a little seasoning to the mix. What are we going to start with? Mm. Ah, I know. Let's cover this for a little bit. Now it's time to season. Our Zatarain's Creole seasoning gives you just the right amount of spice and everything nice. Let the spirit lead you, add as much as you want. Let it guide your hand. You know your spice level. I like things spicy. So we crush red pepper flakes. Because if I have to reach for, you know, hot sauce for your greens, nothing there's anything wrong with it, but they weren't spicy enough for me. I just want to be able to eat the food. Little garlic powder. The Lord says enough, enough, my child. <laughs> I'm stupid, let me stop playing. Eh, a little more, never hurt nobody. Onion powder. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I did throw in a little uh, smoked sea salt. Yeah, and it's black sea salt too, it's delicious. Okay, we do the time lapse, give this a little flip. It's almost time for the main event, but first we have to add in our apple cider vinegar. Slow it on down, trust me, trust the process. This brings such an element of flavor to your greens. Got my heat on a nice medium low. Star of the show. Rocking it from my hometown, y'all. If y'all don't know, I am a Maryland native, born, bred, and blue crab fed, but right now I am here for all things spicy and delicious. We put Old Bay on everything. Don't judge me. All right, now we are ready 
add in our garlic cloves. This particular additive is not a traditional southern, you know, ingredient. However, I chose to put this in because I love the taste of garlic and it really brightens up this dish. Throwing in our greens now, just on top of the, you know, the turkey wings and they're gonna sweat down. So don't feel like you're gonna overload your pan. You know, three or four handfuls until you know that you can't fit anything else in. Then replace your lid, let them sweat down for five minutes or so. And then go back, add more. Here we are five minutes later. Thank you, TV Magic. I'm gonna give her a stir, make sure things are getting all the extra love. The steam does carry some flavor. However, the broth is not where it's at. There we go. Add some more greens, see what I mean by sweating it down? Just like spinach or any other leafy green, it's gonna wilt down. So these two bags were not enough for the amount of people that I was feeding, so I would definitely go get more next time. All right, we're gonna repeat the process throughout. Cover and simmer for five minutes, and oh man, the smells are just slapping me in the face. I am so hungry, like straight up hungry as a hostage in these streets. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, fish out our turkey, if you will. Look at this. She is ready to fall off the bone, and that's what we want. Gonna set it aside and let it cool down for a little bit. There we go. These tongs are really hot. <laughs> Here we go, we got one more in there hiding. Come on, baby. Yeah, they finna be hot. So let that stuff cool down. Mm, I could actually go for some more, some other turkey wings. Mm. Oh wait, I'll put a link in that description box because there's another uh, video I have on that. If you haven't already seen that already. Oh man, look at that. If you guys are finding this video to be beneficial to you at all, please, thank you for not skipping. Thank you for subscribing and for commenting if you do comment. Um, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm and my channel can start to reach other people just like yourself. So as you see here in the time lapse, this chicken, is, or I'm sorry, this turkey is very, very hot. And I allowed it to cool for like 10 minutes and I'm just gonna debone it, skin, uh, fat and all, because we want all of that flavor to go back into our greens. And if your, you know, strips of meat are too uh, big, feel free to break them up. You know, bite size is always the right size, just like so. And there you have it. Take a second and get ourselves together and back to the party. Now that bacon that we fried earlier, I'm gonna add the little remnants back in there because why not? I might have snacked on a few. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and add in all of our turkey. Look at that. Y'all, now essentially this dish is done. We're gonna stir this up and let it simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes, just so all your flavors can get to know once another and um, get ready to serve this decadent side dish. You can bring it to any soul food dinner party. You can bring it, uh, you can eat this as a meal by itself. You can also bring it to any cookout. Definitely something you wanna have around for the holidays. This is my take on homemade collard greens. Thank you for watching and now it's time for that reaction. Do enjoy folks.
will you get a look at these amazing, creamy, spicy, salty, slightly sweet, savory, delicious collard greens of goodness? Oh my goodness, look at that. Let's taste this. How about that? And here you have it, friends. Look at these. Oh, that's really hot. Oh. Look at those grains. <laughs> like, my goodness. Let's get up in here and find out what I'm working with. I've missed y'all so much. Thank you if you made it this far into the video for not skipping and actually watching the entire thing. That really helps out my channel. Man, you talking about some kind of good. Mm -mm. No extra hot sauce required. I am literally scalding the skin off of my hand. This is so hot. But my goodness, just absolutely delicious. I can't even continue to hold that. Once again, thank you so much for everything. Um, I'm sure you saw in the announcement uh, in the last video or a couple videos ago that I'm gonna start trying to venture out into cooking live. So reach out to me in the comments if you'd like. I'm thinking maybe a $5, uh, you know, donation for the list of ingredients and the step-by-step -step recipe and a date and time we provided for you where we can go online and cook together. Um, I can answer some of your questions if you have any questions or if you want to know anything about me and, and my crazy world. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear more from you. Per always, per usual, I can't even continue to speak. So I'm gonna eat these hot greens. And I'm going to see you next week. <laughs> Thank you all for watching so much. Don't forget to like, comment, watch the whole videos, and subscribe.